Jones. Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Gilly Nova, and I already know why you're here. I know who sent you. All right, but seriously, in today's video, we're going to discuss about Travis Scott's latest collaboration with McDonald's. He just had his final drop with Cactus Plant just yesterday. I'll discuss with you guys what I purchased from all three of the drops. And if you're interested on in how they look like in person, I will be making a video once I receive the shipment. So while I still have you here, please hit the like button down below. Please hit the subscribe button as I'm going to have more content coming soon. Also, I'm going to do a free giveaway. This is a Travis Scott and Fortnite merch. This is a size large in men's. To win this shirt, please leave a comment below, hit the like button, and follow me on Instagram, and I will announce a winner once I receive my McDonald's and Travis Scott merch. That will be a new video in the future, so definitely stay tuned for that. All right, so let's get this video started. First off, I'm going to talk about the Tenet and Travis Scott collab. If you're not aware already, Travis Scott had a collaboration with uh, Christopher Nolan for the movie Tenet. He dropped a song called The Plan and he also had merch. I believe it was like a 48 hour exclusive and I purchased some of that shirt. So, so if you guys aren't aware, Tenet is a movie directed by Christopher Nolan. He's the same person that directed the Dark Knight series and Inception and Dunkirk and many more other films. So I have not seen the movie yet. It's out in theaters right now, but here in California, movie theaters are closed. And I'm definitely waiting for a movie theaters to open up again so I can finally watch the movie. So let's see how it looks like in person. I purchased this about maybe four weeks ago and it just came in today, so I'm pretty excited to see how it looks like. All right, so let's get this started. So for me personally, I am a huge Christopher Nolan fan, so, so when I found out that Travis Scott had a collaboration with Tenet, I was like, I had to purchase that. I felt like it was gonna be a classic, like how Inception is to me, as well as the Dark Knight series. Like, I'm pretty sure that's a lot of people's favorite movie. So this is one shirt, another shirt, and two more right here. So maybe I'll do a future giveaway, so stay tuned. One is for me to wear, one is for me to keep, one is to resell, one is for me to wear, one is for me to keep, one is for resell. And the last one will probably be a giveaway in the future, so stay tuned and hit the subscribe button. So I'm gonna open this up right now. By the way, this is all in size large. You know what, might as well keep the sticker too, right? All right, so this is the Travis Scott and Tenet collab. As you can see in the very front, it says Tenet. A film by Christopher Nolan. I'm gonna go close up for you guys so you can see. And then on the back, it says, Time Runs Out. I don't know if it's focused right now, but it's really good quality on the Time Runs Out. And as well as the plan right here. Good job on them. So what do you guys think about the back of the shirt? I think this is really good quality. Definitely worth the purchase. I don't know if it's gonna resell in the future, but this is something I will definitely rock around. Casually, maybe at a bar or hanging out with my friends, grocery shopping. I feel like it's just a fit for almost anything. I also think that the movie did pretty good with the critics. I'm hoping that this is going to be a really classic shirt due to it being Travis Scott and Christopher Nolan. Maybe in 10 years from now. Yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy with this purchase. And then if you're interested in seeing how it looks like on a person. All right, so I'm 5'11". I'm about 185 pounds right now. This is how it looks like on me. So you guys could decide if you want this for yourself. Maybe get a size medium if you're shorter. Maybe get a size XL if you're taller than me. On the side right here, you can see that it says Cactus Jack. Pretty dope in my opinion. I like the color. I like the fade of the black here. I honestly feel like also that baggy fits are in right now, even though it doesn't look that baggy, but it's definitely not like skin tight to me. But wow, I'm in love with this purchase, guys. Also, maybe I'm tripping, but I don't see a page of this on StockX, so I don't know how much the resale would be. But it doesn't matter to me because I am very interested in keeping this shirt. This is so cool, guys. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you guys what I purchased from the Travis Scott and McDonald's collaboration so that you would know what to expect in my future video. So as you can see, this is the third and final drop from Travis Scott and McDonald's. I didn't really like anything except for this long sleeve t-shirt right here. I think it's pretty dope. It's like a really, or let me zoom in actually so that you guys can see. Like it looks very retro. I really like the look of it and I'm very interested in merch that has stuff in the back. As you can see with the tenant shirt. Next thing that I bought from McDonald's and Travis Scott was the nugget actually. Let me see here. So these are the last five sales of the McNugget and Travis Scott. 
It was $600, and then there's also some sold for $500. There's actually seven sold total on StockX and an average sale price of $500. The resale of this was $90, and then with shipping and everything, I'm pretty sure it was like $105, so I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Next thing is next thing is this Travis Scott vintage metal lunchbox. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's nice to have like a I think it's a cool novelty to have around my room or in the living room. This one was only $45 with retail. I'm gonna say plus 10, 12 dollars with shipping and tax and stuff. So far right now it has an average sale price of $190. Six were sold on StockX. So if I really wanted to, I would resell it and make my money back, but Honestly, I'm just gonna keep it. Next thing is I bought this Travis Scott and McDonald's hoodie. This is my favorite buy out of the whole uh, collaboration. I honestly really love hoodies, and especially if it's merch. Um, I could try to zoom in. Can I zoom in? Can I zoom in? Can't really zoom in, but I love apple pies from McDonald's. I used to work there for a year back in high school. The Cactus Jack right here is pretty dope. McDonald's symbol on top is pretty dope. Unless it says Cactus Jack, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it says Cactus Jack, but that's still pretty dope. It's not doing too much. It's still kind of subtle. And on the, also on the back, it's still not doing too much. It's doing something in the back. There's still like a lot of print. I'm, I'm pretty sure the print on Always Had a Thing for Sweets is the same thing as the Tenet print, where it's like really good quality and it pops out of the shirt. This one was, let me see here. This one was a retail for $88. Resale is, oh, okay. Resale is about $280 and 19 were sold on StockX. So there is resale value in this hoodie, but I'm going to keep it. And then lastly, I bought this white tee. Still subtle in the corner. McDonald's and Cactus Jack um, logo. And on the back, you can see it's Travis Scott with his rodeo, or I guess McDonald's action figure. This one was uh, retail for $48, and the average resale price is $170. And yeah, that's about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button down below. If you haven't already, please comment so that you have a chance on winning the free giveaway shirt. And other than that, thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope to see you soon. All right, peace out.